What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Today, we're actually going to do something different. I'm actually going to do the daily live live on YouTube today. Uh, it is Isaac, so why not? First of all, it only goes to mom's heart, so it's going to be a pretty short one. Um, probably not the decision a lot of people did was take scatter bombs there, but the extra five bombs right off the bat is going to be good for tin and rocks and such. Um, very nice to be able to have the D6 and have some flexibility with the items that we get. We'll have a reroll ready for what the boss brings. Um, but yes, I've been doing dailies, uh, every day for about, I would say almost 20 days in a row now. And obviously I am heading for the, uh, <clears throat> dedication achievement. The dedication achievement basically says to do 31 dailies in a row. Um, I believe I'm on 20. I'm not exactly sure because there's not a run encounter, unfortunately. Uh, you just kind of got to keep doing them and doing them until you unlock them. Who knows? We might. This might be the 31st one. I don't even know. Uh, but we're going to take a little bit of a break from, like, what well, one keeper runs because we all know how last episode went. You guys got very, very salty, dude. I should mess up runs more often. The comment section was the livest it's ever been. Holy hell. The run before that, I might have had one of my best runs ever, and it got like one fourth of the comments. It's you just gotta play like an ass hat on YouTube, and then people will be like, all over the comment section, get get getting the um, interaction up. I like it, guys. I like it. it. It shows you care, you know. It shows you care, and I appreciate that. Um, you know, people make mistakes. I don't know if you've been told that in life. That is a thing, you know. Not everybody's perfect. It's a, it's hard to to. Uh, Walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. Isn't that a saying too? I don't know. This is bringing out all the sayings. I guess let's use this pill. <clears throat> Perks. We should fight the boss because we have a charge. Not like we're going to be able to get a charge anyway. But yeah, man. Commentating. Playing the keeper. The keeper is a more complex... Uh, I don't really feel like I have to explain myself, but I'm going to anyway. Because you hurt my feelings. No, but the keeper is a uh, more complex character than, you know someone like Kane or Judas and I say those two because even like Isaac with a d6 is more complex in thinking than like a Kane a Judas a Maggie somebody that you know doesn't have a quirk where you kind of have to think like Isaac has the d6 where you have to think is it worth re-rolling am I gonna have enough rooms to get another re-roll should I take the battery now or wait blah 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 there's a lot of thinking that goes into it and it's the same with the keeper uh, there's a lot of items that the keeper uh, benefits from greatly, so my mind is always thinking, let's make sure we get that. So, I mean, for example, when I saw Nun's Habit, I didn't care there was Steam Sale. I had a one-track mind to get Nun's Habit, and my math was off, uh, admittedly. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, there's such important items for the keeper that really, really help you in the long run that once I had my eyes set on, on, ma on Nun's Habit, I was getting it. Uh, no matter what the math actually added up to a steam sale. I know I was wrong on that, but I'm just trying to explain like when you're commentating It's just another layer like the d6 is another layer um, All the the keeper items that are not only good for the keeper, but are bad for the keeper There's some items that are bad for the keeper that you don't want So you always got to be thinking about that stuff and trying to commentate on top of it and trying to win the run I know it's the old it's like you know all youtubers say this it's it's easier said than done type thing uh it's just concentrating on a lot of things and what believe me when i look back on the videos i'm like dude this guy's an idiot that's just how it is that's how it is <clears throat> hindsight is 2020 it's very easy to look back on something and be like why do you do that why do you do that but i digress i'm gonna show you guys the losses even if it makes me look like an idiot i'm, I'm not gonna wipe the losses and only show you guys wins there's uh there's no drama with no lows um, you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. That's just it, man. You can't experience the highs without the lows. I've said this numerous times. I'm showing the losses just as I'm showing the wins. It's, it's, it's the natural progression of video games. Sometimes you play like an idiot, um, but usually, I feel like a lot of times people play like an idiot. No one's there to watch it. But that's, that's what I signed up for. And I love each and every minute of my day. And I love uh, my job. So, got to take it all with a grain of salt, you know? I, honestly, though, what I said at the beginning is, is seriously how I feel. 
you guys commenting and you guys passionately disagreeing with my play means you guys care and that's awesome seriously because you're invested in this just as much as i'm invested in this and uh as silly as it is sometimes because you think about it it's like video games but uh that could add to our bomb synergy there's just too much too much uh opportunity for gold here i mean it's not the best thing ever but it's a it's an all stats up so i'm gonna roll with it anyway seems like a really strong daily now it doesn't matter Ooh, now it doesn't matter if i win this daily because i already did the marathon achievement i'm working on the dedication achievement they are two very different um achievements the marathon is win five dailies in a row and the uh dedication is play 31 in a row so you just have to play them you literally just have to start up the daily every day and uh at least probably do one room and then if you die you die Okay, we have our reroll ready for the deal with the devil. Um, I don't really know. Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes when the daily goes to like mom's heart, um, I get nervous because it's usually like a really underpowered run because they kind of formulate it, formulate it so not amazing, but they kind of formulate it so like if the ending is shorter, like for instance, yesterday was Judas and we went to Mega Satan, but it was a really powerful run. So Mega Satan was really easy to kill. When it's the mom's heart, basically it's saying, good luck getting the mom's heart because these items coming up to it are not that strong. That's how I look at it anyway. So I always get a little bit nervous when you see the mom's heart there. But this is a really powerful run. I don't think, <clears throat> I don't think this is in question at all. I think if I don't get any more stat ups or anything else along the way right now, I think we'll still be able to beat mom's heart. Um, probably a secret room here. I could have checked the other. Yeah, that's a bummer. Uh, it's probably connected to the shop up here. Uh, ooh, scatter bombs. I don't even know if we check out the shop. It, I, honestly, like I said, I think we're going to be able to win regardless. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, definitely some misplays on that last one. But hold on. Did you guys see when I died? I actually watched that back a couple of times when I died uh, in the last episode to Hush. I guess Hush's transcendent tears um, go over lost contact because I was shooting into the purple and black tears and they weren't breaking. Like lost contact usually, you know, stops the the tier momentum and completely kills them midair. But I don't know if it works with the black and purple. Like there was times where I felt like it was stopping it, and then when I really needed it to stop it, when I turned my head to the left and started shooting to the left because that's where they were coming from it didn't stop it and I, and I was shooting continuously I don't know go watch that back you let me know I don't know if that's like a known thing that the continuum tiers has has like a height that like go over the lost contact tier or I don't know maybe my tier height wasn't high enough I don't really know um but man that was a golden opportunity and I know that's why everybody was very up in arms in the comments because it was a really good opportunity like the shop the shop debacle aside um <clears throat> we had we had a great chance there to do keeper uh delirium but i did do on stream i did do lyric uh lyric lyric hello i did do uh lilith delirium which is awesome because i don't ever want to touch lilith again i'm just not a huge fan of her mechanic like at all <clears throat> i'd rather them replace it with may straight up give me may from the workshop I'd rather play her. Uh, but yeah, no. Lilith is completely done. The post-its are completely done, except for uh, except for Keeper Delirium. And then the achievements are very close, except for the three rerun achievements, which are very gettable, especially all in one run. They're very gettable. Um, and then the other achievement is obviously the one we're working on right now, and that's the dedication one, and uh, Zip as well. Zip has beat the lamb in 20 minutes. And then I guess I just have to touch every item uh, in Afterbirth Plus, <clears throat> and then we'll be done. We'll be done with all the achievements and the post-its. Feels good, man. Feels real good, man. <clears throat> Sorry about the throw clearing. So we're amazing on health right now. We have a reroll ready to go in case we hit on that 33% chance at a deal with the devil. We're fighting Bighorn, who uh, has boss armor, so he is he is scaling to our damage right now as to why it's, you know, not the fastest fight ever. Hey, that hit him. He pieced out real quick. His ball hit him. He's pieced out real quick. Oh, he's on the fire. Oh, no, he's not. I don't think. I think he's a little off of it. 
Uh, but seriously, thank you guys for all the support and watching the episodes. Like, the average views have been going up, and uh, even the interaction, like the likes and dislikes and comments and everything has just been, you know, going up. And I know that may seem uh, like I was joking when I said dislikes, but for real. Like, any interaction is good interaction. Please don't dislike that. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go hard at this reroll, I guess. Hey, you know what? I like speedball. We're a little bit slow, honestly. Uh, not slow, but like base speed for Isaac, so might as well. We do have a secret room over there. Why didn't I go in it? I don't know. We'll go in it. We'll go in it. Um, we did take that battery, so hopefully we can get an organic reroll before we find the item room. Maybe we won't, we won't even need to reroll it. Who knows? Who freaking knows? Pop in that secret room really quick. First, check this out. No, thank you. <clears throat> thanks, but no thanks. And we didn't hit on the deal with the devil, unfortunately. Are you a wizard? Alrighty. It's alright. We could battle. We could battle. Look at our eyes. How many eyes do we have? We could battle with the are you a wizard. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got him. Alright, let's see what we got in here. I don't know what this is. Crooked Penny. Okay, this is what I unlock when I beat Delirium with Keeper, I think. Let's use it on this penny. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't really know what it did. Um, this is going to give us two charges, this big room. And then it looks like we might have one more room to fight down there, which would be amazing. Try to kill them over the abyss so no spiders spawn. Got him again. Wow, I think I killed every single one of those over the abyss. No spiders for us. Um, okay, we got King Baby here, which I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. I think we're just gonna pass up on him. Plus, we don't have enough money. It's free real estate. Right? We don't have enough money, guys, because I have seven cents and he's on sale for, I don't know, too soon? Okay. The, the wound still, it's still open? Okay. Sorry. 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 <clears throat> All right. This is going to give us our charge, which is awesome. Ooh, woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. How about that Super Bowl last night? Holy shit, man. That might have been the best Super Bowl I've ever watched. <clears throat> that Seattle, uh... <clears throat> the Seattle Seahawks Patriots like two years ago uh, where Malcolm Buck Butler uh, intercepted the ball on like the one yard line. That was insane. That game was probably better all four quarters, but the game last night was definitely one, the best comeback. Well, his the best comeback historically ever and probably one of the most intense, exciting games I've ever watched, if not the most. Um, first overtime ever in a Super Bowl. <clears throat> it was great, dude. It was just great. TB12, man. Tom, terrific. I was really, really close on my predict prediction, too. Really close. Um, <clears throat> there's no charges, I don't think. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know what I said in the episode, but I know I tweeted out uh, before the game started. I tweeted out uh, 2835, and it was actually 2834, but... If the Patriots were allowed to kick the extra point after they scored the touchdown, I would have been spot on at 35-28, which is kind of crazy. I've picked a lot of games in my life. I've never gotten that close to a score, especially during the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is very hard to predict because it's just, it's a it's a weird game. You know, preparation is two weeks. Um, all the players have to deal with, one, the jitters, two, like, you know, getting their family all set up and getting tickets out. And there's just a lot of distractions. There's media day. <clears throat> it's just really hard to predict the Super Bowl just because it's so, well, one, grand, and two, different than any other game. Um, so I was pretty, I was pretty excited that I, I got that close on the prediction. Granted, one point off, I guess, is as good as, actually, that's not true. Because in Vegas, if you bet a, if you bet a, a total points, you have like a three point window. All right, let's hit this. <clears throat> Yo, listen, showing us where the secret room is. Thanks, buddy. I still don't get... Is that... Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Um, is this supposed to be here? This, like, tr this uh, re-roll thing? I don't get what it it's doing. Because there's no pedestal. I don't know if that's a mistake or... Or unless, like, if you blow up that guy sitting down, maybe he can give you steam sale and then you can re-roll it. Oh, you bitch. 
I tried to swindle it. The idea was there, just the execution wasn't great. One makes you small. Gulp. Yeah, we got two small pills back to back. I think, or is Verp? Oh God, I don't know. Maybe Verp is the back to back. It like doubles that last pill. Who knows? Who freaking knows? All right, um, mom's heart. The thing is, I don't, I don't know. Does it let you do hush? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. But we can do boss rush. And if we want a good score, if we want a good score, I think we want to do boss rush. I think that's the whole thing. I don't think since it goes to mom heart, I don't think you can do hush in the daily. Usually you want to do as many of the paths that you can in the daily to get the best score possible. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm not doing. Like I'm playing this daily as kind of like a one break from the post-it notes. Uh, two, because I play the daily anyway every day because I'm trying to get this achievement. And I kind of wanted to talk about that last episode and all that. So I figured why not do the daily, but just a heads up guys. I'm not trying to get the best score uh, possible. Uh, I'm not real worried about where I rank on the leaderboard. Um, I know there are certain things like I know room clearing, like full room or floor clearing is, is a bonus point. Finding all the secret rooms are bonus points. Picking up every single consumable, shooting the poops, getting every coin. I know that all adds to your score. Um, but just, just no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to get the, the best score out there. We're just playing some Isaac, some lighthearted Isaac. Damn. I, I wonder how this is going to work with, uh, scatter bombs. It could be chaotic, but could be fun. Let's try one. Oh, good God. All right, let's peace out. Okay. They don't, they don't, that has nothing to do with it. All right. That's fine. They don't synergize. That's probably a good thing. It was probably way too dangerous if they did. But Bomber Boy is very strong. There's got to be another spawn. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know if there was another spawn up there, but we, we made quick work of that big room. There's another battery up there, which is good. We can check out the shop. We do have 12 cents. We got, um, well, I guess we have no donation machine, so we can't blow it up. Not in the daily. We can blow up him, though. I mean, I will one for the chance at a nickel and two for a better deal with the devil opportunity. You got the nickel. Okay. Well, we're going to get a charge. We do have a charge back there. We also have a charge in the shop. We want to get some rerolls going here. We're still in a good position. I probably should use a bomb here. Bunch of champions. Way too late for it, but better late than never. Plus, we got to blow up the uh, mushroom. Okay, little Chad. My boy, my boy, little Chad. Does Yo listen to any damage? Because it's weird that he floats around in the middle of the room, but I don't think he does. I don't think he does. I think he just finds trapdoors and seeker rooms. It would be cool if he did a little contact damage, because you have to realize he's not going to be... If he's moving that much, he's not going to be on enemies for that long. Okay, we're probably going to re-roll little Chad here. Honestly, I mean, I'll take Fear Shot, but I'm going to re-roll that. And it's not going to do anything for us now. I got hit. Whoops. It's not going to do anything for us now, but yeah, we're probably not going to get Boss Rush. That's probably a pipe dream, which is whatever. Like I said, doesn't matter. The score doesn't matter. We're just playing some Isaac here. Um, you guys let me know how you do on the daily as well. I'm curious. I'm curious. I always like to hear how you guys did on the daily. I, I used to actually do the daily, like, uh, as a series, which was fun, but <clears throat> it was fun because you guys would, like, you know, say how you did on the daily in the comment section. It was cool to compare and see, you know, what different paths did what. Well, I've never seen those flies before in my life. Oh, those are the hush flies. Dude, I've never seen them out of the blue womb, and they look so weird. I thought they were just blue reskin flies. Those were a different texture, man. Those were completely different texture. That was bizarre. Yeah, the blue womb enemies. I, I've seen. Uh, I guess since Afterbirth Plus, they've added them to to like have a really rare and random spawn chance. Um, should I get Steam Sale, guys? I don't. The math doesn't really add up here. I'm probably not going to take Steam Sale. 
The math doesn't add up because it's not going to be. I'm not going to have enough money uh, for a shop item um, if uh, I take Steam sale there. I know it's free, but like it's gonna it's gonna cost me a lot of money to do it. So I'm not, I'm actually not going to do it. I'm just not going to pick up Steam sale there. Um, we don't need, we don't need the Steam sale. Um, uh, yeah, we're just going to move on from Steam sale. Uh, paralysis. Okay, okay, okay. Why am I holding on this Burkano rune like it's a Yara? Let's move on from the Yara, the Burkano as well. Got some flies though and spiders. Easy clear on this room with some champions. Are you guys triggered yet? Are you guys triggered yet? Damn, the bomb synergies are real. Are real. All right, all right. I'll stop memeing ya. I'll stop memeing ya. Ooh. That's cool though. There's a refresh in here. We could get some stuff going on. Even though we only have 15 cents, which is a bit of a bummer, to be honest. We should have taken, I mean, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Okay, we definitely don't want, we definitely don't want the battery. Well, we only have seven cents, so we can only buy one more thing. Ooh, the double reroll. Let's do it again. Buy something if we want it. Take PhD. There you go. Puberty, adult transformation, sure. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. I guess we have one more floor to like kind of get some money and uh, make use of refresh if we want. Another pill. That's why you take PhD, man. Two luck ups, just like that. We're at four luck. Consumable heaven. <clears throat> All right, let's. Uh, we got the shop in the item room. Let's just try to find the. Boss room? I mean, a, a reroll before we go in would be good. We do have a 36% chance to hit on a deal. Whether we're going to hit that or not, it remains to be seen, but 36% is not the worst. Not the worst. I think Tom Brady solidified his, uh, his, his goat, his goatness last night. He is the greatest of all time, dude. He That is his fifth Super Bowl. That puts him ahead of Joe Montana. Uh, he's been to seven Super Bowls. That's incredible. That's incredible. I've been saying it for years. I don't want to be the I told you so guy, but he's the best. He's the greatest. Greatest of all time. The GOAT. The freaking GOAT. He threw for like 350 yards in that fourth quarter. Maybe more. Incredible. <clears throat> Incredible. Okay, we could probably find the super secret room. But the I could see forever pill. These guys probably going to turn into boners. They did turn into boners indeed. By the way, guys, there's like one or two days left on the hoodies. Um, I cannot believe how many sold. I really can't. You guys are insane. I'm assuming the inflated number of hoodies sold is because of the YouTube crowd. Legitimately. Like the the stream the stream crowd and the subscribers and the Twitch followers, um, they've been like you know the day one day one supporters, and you know always always buy the the stuff that I sell and the shirts and all that. But I think what pushed us over the edge I think was me putting like the link in the YouTube uh, descriptions and stuff, because <clears throat> it's it's hard to tell you guys like the YouTube crowd. That there's like clothes, limited time clothes for sale or hats or whatever. Um, so this time I really made an effort to. And I think that's why we've sold so freaking many of the hoodies. But seriously, thank you guys so much. But yeah, there's only like a day or two left on the hoodie. So if you're interested, definitely pick that up. Because it is it will be gone forever after uh, a day. Yeah, I don't really know what gulp does. <clears throat> I don't really know what gulp does. We got a telepills though. The hats are coming back too, by the way. <clears throat> I know there were some people that commented on the YouTube video and was like, oh, I missed the hats. Um, I put it in the description really late. The hats sold out in like 50 minutes, so um, nice. Happy I did it. 
Yeah, the hat sold out so quick, but I, I was I was scrambling when the hats were on sale to put the links in the descriptions of the videos. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the hats are going to get re-released one more time. Uh, it's probably sometime this week. Hopefully. Um, <clears throat> and I'll let you guys know in a video or put it in the description or comment on the on my own video and pin it or something. Something to let you guys know. Do, 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 do. So yeah, we're doing 20 more white and 20 more black hats. Just in case you're interested about that. <clears throat> I know there's some people that aren't interested in hats or hoodies and you're like, all right, dude, we get it. We get it, dude. You're selling products, dude. We get it. You're selling uh, merchandise. Cool story, dude. Why don't you talk about Isaac? Cool story, dude. Why don't you buy Nun's Habit for 15 cents and leave Steam Sale uh, there that was on sale for 7 cents? Why don't you just bu buy Nun's Habit for 15 cents, dude, you know? You effing nerd. This guy's an idiot. Right, comment section? Who is this guy? This guy's an idiot! <laughs> Am I right, comment section? Tell me. This guy's an idiot. This wolves at my door guy. Fucking idiot. What a dummy. Um, <clears throat> what do we even want here? Telepills? I don't want the health up because I'm I'm hoping for a deal with the devil where we give away this red heart and get empty vessel. That's the idea. I mean, I guess it do, does it. Well, it does matter. We still have to go through the womb, you know. It's not over after the foot. So yeah, we're gonna hope for a deal with the devil and we're gonna hope to give away this red heart. That's why I'm not taking the health up pill. It just doesn't seem worth it. This might help our deal with the devil chance. It did. It did indeed, and we got a freaking nickel from it. We do have refresh in the shop, so we got to think about that. Black heart? No. Yeah, sorry about Curse of the Darkness. I saw somebody comment that it was so dark. Um, it's, it's like not super dark on my screen, but YouTube does darken all their videos. And when I turn up the gamma, dude, it just looks really washed out and gross, unfortunately. Am I gonna sneeze? Oh, yeah, I am. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. The golden chest just doesn't seem super worth it. I know it's for free, uh, considering we have the golden key, but I don't think it's worth fighting the room for. Ding, ding, ding. They get glitched. Like uh, with Fear Shot, these guys still get glitched. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Thought he's gonna be stuck to this wall. Um, that's been happening for so long with those Larry Jr. guys. Uh, when you fear shot them, they just get, like, stuck to the wall. Camo undies. Does this mean you can get into curse rooms for free or something? I think it has something to do with that. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the one makes you small pills. That just helped me dodge there. Okay, eight cents with the refresh. Rip Curse of Darkness. Uh, Champion's Belt, I would love. I would love that. Um, if we can muster up the money for it, I'll do it, but I, I don't know if that's gonna happen. That's sick that uh, Flashlight gets rid of Curse of the Darkness, though. Um, I actually said that in a video. I was like, oh, it would be really cool if, like, I think it was actually, wait, was it, a, was it Flashlight? It might've been an anti-birth video where they had an item like this. And I was like, oh, that would be cool if it got rid of uh, Curse of Darkness. Maybe it was Miner's Cap, actually. Um, but it's sick that Flashlight does get rid of it. Okay, we got one cent. I doubt there's gonna be... I mean, how can we get this battery? Is it possible or... Is it possible? I doubt it's possible. Oh, it is possible. It's sitting right there. Speaking of possible, let's see. Let's test camo undies right now. Okay. All right, that's a little weird. I could have, I, I mean, I thought it helped you get into uh, the deals with the devil. So I was like, oh, camo undies would be really cool. You know, if you don't get hurt on the spikes, like if it acts like a, uh, you know, whatever that trinket is, but guess not. Speaking of trinket, I don't have a trinket. 
Might as well grab this one. Maybe you don't trigger turrets? I'm trying to I'm trying to test out camo undies here. No, you trigger turrets too. Hmm. What what why? Why wouldn't they add those two things as little uh cool quirks for camo undies? Am I missing like the biggest bigger picture here? I thought it had something to do with you can get in the curse room for free. Like not get hit because you're invisible or something. I don't know. I'm probably wrong on that. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, though. If it is that, if it is you can get into curse rooms for free, it's really dumb that you you uh, can run over spikes and get hurt, and also dumb that you can trigger turrets. Like, that would be, like, the perfect addition to this item. All right, the mom fight taking a little bit, but hopefully we get to deal with the devil here, and hopefully we get rid of this red heart so we can get... Uh, Empty vessel to pop off. Oops. We did get to deal with the devil, which is good. We'll take the Polaroid and... Okay. I mean... Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm happier with this because we're going to get flight anyway because of empty vessel. That's why I didn't want to take uh, Spirit of the Night. Even though I don't think I'll have spectral tears because empty vessel doesn't give you spectral tears, but... We do have penetrative shot now because of the Eye of Belial, which is pretty cool. Oh, I was like, why are some tears getting stuck? But it's because we have that booger trinket. That's fine. It's totally fine. It does damage over time, so I'm not worried about it. Empty Vessel actually just gave me some invincibility there. Nice. Look at, look at him. He's just chilling over the middle. What does that mean? He usually floats around the room. You all right, man? Hmm. He's really, he's really trying to get in the middle of that void for some reason. So he usually floats around like that. Or if there's a secret room, he obviously sticks to that wall. And there might have been a time where he was floating over a rock and that was a trap door. And I, I apologize. I apologize. I haven't been staring at Yo Listen and seeing what he's been doing. But that definitely could have happened. This is a great penetrative shot, Eye of Belial, by the way. First of all, it looks badass. And second of all, it's like homing, I think? Seemed homing. Is this an XL? Nah. Just Womb 1. Just Womb 1, Joker. Damn. So many bombs this run. So many bombs. There's a Tin and Rock there. I'm assuming he floats over tin rocks as well. Let's see. Yeah, he does. Nice. Nice, nice. Let's check this seeker room out. And we'll just blow this up. Bloody penny, huh? Blo <sighs> the red poop. Can't even see where I'm at. Can't even see where I'm freaking out with these camo undies on. Alright, this, this is definitely going to be a W. I mean, like I said, it does, as long as we're participating in the daily, we're, we're doing something good. I really wish there was some sort of counter. I even checked Greedbutt. Greedbutt.com, I think it is, or .net, or one, one of those. Um, but yeah, it's a site that, like, keeps track of dailies. But, like, does it in a more, um, it, like, there's more stats to be shown on Greedbutt and stuff, and, and you can go back further and see what you've done in the very, like, very past dailies, because I think the leaderboard in-game only shows you the past five. Uh, so, yeah, I was like, oh, Greedbutt, rem I remember that site when I used to do the dailies, so I checked it, and they, it wasn't, like, keeping track of my Afterbirth Plus ones. I don't know it's cause, if it's because I didn't log in or something. But I was like, oh, that would have been a perfect way to tell how many I've done in a row. Uh, but yeah, no luck. No freaking luck, man. If anybody knows, like, a newer site with daily information, I would love to know how many I've done in a row. I would. I just want to, like, get a counter just so I know, you know, how many more to go. Build some anticipation for getting the uh, achievement. Please, please. 
We got, I gotta be, I gotta be past 15. Like 20, 20 is, uh, I think ambitious. I don't think I'm at 20. And I don't think I'm past 20, but I have to be at least at 15 in a row, which is halfway, just about. According to my math, halfway. If we're not accounting Steam Sale, it's probably halfway. Probably halfway. All right, we have a reroll for Mama Gerds. Who well, Mama Gerdy is a lot less intimidating when you could fly. Like, a lot less intimidating. Not the strongest tiers. <laughs> Definitely not the strongest tiers. Okay. It's like that. Strongest bombs, though. I'm not going to take that. That's going to get rid of... Uh... Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm not going to do it. I like flight way too much. We're going to be able to kill Mom's Heart with this build. I need the flight, man. I need the flight. A dime. Another telepills. I mean, might as well just use it. See what happens. See what freaking happens. I don't know where it brought us. Oh, that's a dead end. Big boy. Big boy taking a dive. Why do I keep picking up bombs? Why do I keep freaking picking them up? I've had 99 like this whole time. We got invincibility. Invincibility, boys. We're invisible and we're invincible. We're both of the things. Camo undies. Shouts to you. Shouts to you, bud. I really want to look up what Camo undies does. <clears throat> no. No. Get out of here, eyeball. It's interesting trade-off is is because like you know you always think about it in horror Babylon sense in terms I mean horror Babylon terms like is an all stats up good if you have horror Babylon basically is it good enough to be taken out of horror Babylon in exchange for an all stats up and that's kind of was the same thing is is an all stats up worth losing flight and sometimes you know in, in vulnerability out of nowhere. And I, my answer to that was no. I think flight is is that important, especially like towards the womb, and uh, just having those uh, invincibility random bubbles out of nowhere helps a lot. Helps a freaking lot. And that's gonna do it. That's gonna freaking do it, man. That is a solid daily. I mean, I think we're gonna place like two thousand. Hey, five eighty nine. Not terrible. Not freaking terrible. Hey, Kate won. That means. Kate won, that means... Oh, she has three in a row. She's working on the marathon achievement with her five in a row. So that's three for her. Nice. Hell yeah. All right, 589 in the world. Not the worst thing ever. Thank you for uh, hanging out. Thank you for watching the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a bit of a different one today with the daily. I hope you guys don't mind that we stepped away from the post-it notes. Some time to reflect on that last episode. Uh, get my bearings back, and we'll start heading into some achievement territory. Let me know in, this, in the comments. Give me some suggestions on how to beat the lamb in under 20 minutes. What character do you guys use? What do you think the best character to use is in that situation? Because we'll try to do zip. We'll try to do the victory lap and uh, the rerun as well. All three achievements. I want to do in one fell swoop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support. I love each and every one of you. If you haven't seen these two videos, make sure you check them out. Uh, and subscribe if you want some more uh, Daily Isaac content. And until next time, stay safe, stay up, peace out.